Hello everyone, this is Brian Gundy from For Goodness Snakes, and here I have um, my um, adult female pied. This snake is, is about as low quantity or low percentage white as you can get. I call it probably 5%. <laughs> but um, as you can see, her belly is totally white, and her pattern is very interesting. Um, I guess you could call it an aberrant pattern, but with piebalds, uh, the pattern is uh, totally unique uh, to pies. This snake um, hopefully is gravid. I bred her to my pied, uh, the only snake I bred her to this year. My goal is to produce as many pieds as I can. I think that's the the um, the ultimate of ball python morphs. And so my goal is to produce as many as I can and to probably hold back as many as I can. Um, and when I say to produce, I'm talking about producing pines. This snake will probably um, have a clutch, hopefully this year, of about um, between seven and eight eggs. She weighs about um, 3,000 grams. And um, uh, she's just, um, just a beautiful animal. Very low white percentage. Uh, and according to um, conversations I've had with people, it really doesn't matter uh, the percentage of white that a pied has. Um, it will throw um, a high percentage white pied and low percentage. Um, I'd like to think through selective breeding, breeding that you could um, create a line of pieds that throw consistent high whites or mid-range mid whites. I myself uh, would prefer an animal that was splashed with brown and white rather than have just white or high percentage of white. I just like the contrast of the brown and white, but um, I'll take whatever I get. Again, this is my female pied, and as you can see, she's beautiful. She's about 3,000 grams. She's a 2004 animal and I uh, hope to get a nice clutch from her. All right, again, uh, this is Brian Gundy from For Goodness Snakes, uh, hoping everybody has a great 2010 season. Thanks a lot. Bye.